Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga. We are here in our kennel with Max, Stryker, and Domino, our awesome dogs, and we are getting ready to hopefully fill up our coin jar again because we're flat broke. We have $88 to our name. And if the dues come, which are currently $1,400, we would be in big trouble. So one of the things we need to remember is the dog registrations do have a fee now. I don't remember them having a fee last version of the game, but from now on, they do have a fee. So any additional dogs we get, we need to be able to balance out playing the higher level league races in order to earn enough money to keep our dogs. I have no idea what happens if you end up, oh my gosh, our dog registration is more expensive now. I just noticed it went up. It's $300 per dog now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we need to run some races so that we'll be able to afford all of this. And I have no idea what this thing is that's coming tomorrow, but it is. But for right now, all of our dogs are a little bit tired from the races that they went on last time to qualify for League 2. Huzzah! Oh, and what's this? Raleigh has something to tell us? <gasps> Raleigh! Skill warm-up. How do I increase my dog's skill? Tell me about it, Raleigh. Getting consistent training will make your dog's skill level grow up. Time off will make it go down. Skill level cap goes up while training. Uh, while, while with training while warmed up to a dog's current cap. Okay. So what does that mean, Raleigh? Tell me more. Skill class. There are two classes of skill a dog can have, star skills or support skills. Star skills only affect one dog who barks. Support skills have an effect on the whole team. That's what Stryker did when she barked last time and like her feet glowed and then everybody else's feet glowed. It was very exciting. Thank you, Raleigh. I wish I could get you like a cup of hot chocolate right now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let all of our dogs rest again. <gasps> It's a sponsorship offer! Oh my gosh! The popularity of your team with dog sledding fans has attracted the attention of a sponsor. A new food bag in case we needed more food. Oh my gosh, can I add that one too? So it looks like you can have like three active sponsorships. So we are going to now take on Elkware food bag and that will increase our food bag capacity. Really important for those more complicated races when you toss the treats and you end up missing the dogs, it can get really chaotic. So we're gonna leave that there. And then we are also working with our Wolf Husky sponsor to have a better sled. So that's really wonderful. All right, so that's what that sign means. And then I think the dogs will be okay with one more day of rest. And then we can go ahead and go on this race. Uh, not yet. So we can go ahead and let them rest for a moment. Yeah, all right, everybody's good. Everybody's good. So thank you guys for letting me know about that. You can cancel out of the race when it first pops up and then let them do like a skill train or you can let them do a little bit of resting. And now we can go and enter the race. <gasps> Look, it's gonna be a snowy night race. Oh my gosh. Oh no. And this is the first time that we're starting to see a less restocks too. All right, monument to Aurora to somewhere. And we are going to get $950 if we win this. And that's not even enough to cover all of the dues, so we definitely need to go ahead and join this race. Can I race? Let's see. Or did I miss the race? Enter race, proceed. All right, yeah, okay, so that's how you can go ahead and enter the race the same day. So their exhaustion rate is low. This is interesting. I wonder, oh, look, you can see all sorts of details. So snow quality pristine, lead specialty minus one, exhaustion rate low, average time to hunger. Whoa, okay, you can see so much. What? I had no idea you could click on all of these. That's so cool. You can see a lot of details about this. You can even see what kind of faults and traits they have. You don't just have to memorize them. That is fantastic. Oh my gosh. And there's a 33% chance that their skills on Max and Domino might kick in today, but a zero for some reason, possibly because she was resting so much on Striker. Man, there's so much to learn about the new version of Dog Sled Saga. <gasps> Look, it had the monument to Aurora. Did you guys see that? That was so cool. Okay, that's our first League 2 race. All right, I've got to focus. Okay, we can do this, guys. We're in fifth place already, but we can do this. Come on, Domino. Oh, there we go. I saw sparklies. All right, did we get, yep, there we go. Sparkly breath. I think there's one obstacle here, so I'll try to toss to somebody. I will try to toss the treat. All right, hang in there. Waiting for it, aha. Uh-oh. Oh no, hang in there guys, oh no. <laughs> no, 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 they're getting so much more tired. They're getting tired so much quicker, I mean, oh my gosh. Okay, and the wind surprised me. I need to not hold the, the treat in my hand until I'm ready to toss it. All right, there we go. 
And then Striker's gonna want one any second now. And what about you, Max? Oh, Max didn't really need one right away, but that's okay. All right, gotta watch out for that tree. All right, we're finally coming up on... <gasps> Look, we're gonna pass up two teams. Okay, come on, guys, come on. Dang it, I need to not hold the treat like that. I just get so excited. All right, good, all three. Oh, dang, and nobody wants a treat. Darn, that would have been really good. I think there was only one obstacle during the race. So it's really fun because now you actually start looking forward to the obstacles because they mean a chance. There we go. I missed them, didn't I? Oh my gosh, I missed both of them. <gasps> no, 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 no. Come on, guys, we've got this, I'm sorry. But yeah, now you consider the obstacles a chance to show off your moves. And I guess that's what happens when you get really good into competitive sports is instead of seeing the challenges you face as something totally negative, I could see how you would get excited because there are chances for you to show off the moves that you can do. All right, that's a really great way to look at things actually. Come on, you guys, we've got this. We're in second, which is really, really good. No, I need to stop holding that down. I just get so excited when I see them breathing. Did I guess right? Dang it. All right, and I missed Striker. Sorry, Striker. <gasps> Look, it's that guy. It's the Rude guy. Oh my gosh. Roots and McRude. How about no? <gasps> yes, did you see that? I won. I beat him. And my whole thing is glowing. I have no idea what I did. Did he throw something on me? What the heck? <gasps> you guys, yes, that was awesome. And we got tons of fame. Oh my gosh. Fame level two. All right, Max, good job. I think we like were literally neck and neck at the very end. And so that's what made it so that like the fame points are just off the chart. Why isn't Striker like, man, we need to work on her fame. Next time we make a jump, I'll try to make sure we toss her. Uh, look at all that. Yeah. Oh, Domino. He's more famous too. I can't believe that was such a cool neck and neck race. That was amazing. We'll try to get Striker's fame up so she can be as famous as Domino and Max too. Cause she has earned it. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. You guys. I won, I won. I bet that jerk, I beat that jerk in a race yesterday. The crowd seemed to pick up on a rivalry and my team got more famous. Oh, that's so cool. I really love that neck and neck like last moment we had. All right, is everybody good? Okay, we're training apparently. That's nice, but let's, oh, I think they actually got like more skill from, oh, more skill from the race. That's so cool. That jerk was in the paper today talking about our rivalry. He said, I don't have a problem with her. She has a problem with me. Wow. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and let them all rest. Good job, you guys. I'm so proud of them. Even if we're still poor little poppers and <laughs> poor little puppers even. Haha. <laughs> and we don't have enough. <laughs> we don't have enough of anything. There we go. All right, and now that they're all rested up, I think one more day of rest will be fine for them. So what I'm gonna do is we're actually going to uh, put Domino and Striker out because they just have one level of light fatigue. So one day of just casual idling should be good enough for them. Yeah, see? Wait, did it not go down? Hey, you guys were supposed to have that fatigue go down. Okay, never mind. It didn't work the way I thought it would. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure everybody gets one more day of rest. We'll have a race coming up pretty soon and I want everybody feeling, yeah, there we go, their best. Oh, and I need to remember to pet everyone. Yeah, I wanna make sure they're all happy so we need to pet them every day. It's like Pokemon refresh, isn't it? All right, and then let's go ahead and let's train up their skills on this last day before the race. Oh, more journal writing, yay. Raleigh told me about how Aurora started, uh, got started dog sled racing. Aurora's caretaker had the idea because of her uh, because doo -doo -doo -doo, of her iconic sled pulling and the way would-be teammates flocked to her. They traveled far to races at first, but then they started winning them. Ooh. So we're learning a little bit more about the mystery dog, Aurora. All right, now another thing I would like to do, just really quickly. Oh, and you can expand your kennel. Oh my gosh. And you can manage a whole bunch of your dogs. Oh my goodness, I need to look at some of these things. The league office, hiring new dogs. Oh my gosh, look at that. Another German Shepherd, Midnight the Husky. 
Oh, the little Zeke. Oh, Maya the Shipu. Do you remember when we had a Shipu and a Schnauzer on our team? Remember the professor, you guys? Oh, he was so cool. All right, German Shepherds. Oh, there's so many dogs to pick from. I cannot wait. I can't wait. Okay, hang on, puppies. I'm going to look around at another thing really quickly. Oh, and you can edit the slide color. Yes! Green! Green all the way! All right, we'll make it kind of like a nice, nice dark green to match my outfit. That makes me happy. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! So at League 3, we'll be able to hire staff? Oh wow, am I gonna be like making the big bucks then? <gasps> Breeding! You can choose two dogs on your team to breed for a puppy! Oh, that would be so exciting! But we can't do that just yet, I don't think. I mean, I guess we could, but I really don't think we should do that. Need five dogs on team. All right, so we have to wait. We have to have five dogs on the team before we can breed, but that's definitely going to be a goal. And then you can manage room for a bigger team by building. Oh my gosh, it's expensive. <gasps> There's so many goals now. I need more money. Okay, puppies, let's do this. We're gonna go ahead, proceed. Not yet, because now we can spend the morning getting their skill kind of ramped up. And now we can go ahead and enter the race. Let's do this, you guys. Okay. Everybody looks like there's ready. they're ready. Everything seems to be good to go. And let's start. So it's another league race. I don't see our rival in the background. Maybe he thought this isn't, this isn't above his, uh, or, or this isn't worthy of his notice. And then I didn't even look at what the race <laughs> is like. So it's gonna be a bit of a surprise for me. All right, I should see. Yes, wonderful. I'm starting to get into the flow of being able to recognize what our puppies need. I'm so excited. All right, a little bit windy. One breath, two breath. Uh-uh, come on, keep moving, buddy. Oh, oh yes, yes, Striker, somebody get it. Oh no, I got so excited seeing a obstacle. Nope, 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 don't get tired, guys. I waited too long because I got so excited seeing the obstacle and I wanted somebody to eat the treat so that hopefully they could get more fame. All right, so it looks like Max is getting tired at the back now. I'm so happy I can remember all of our dogs' names now. <laughs> That's really important. All right, come on, Domino. No, Domino, don't get tired. I'm so sorry. I've got to be a little bit faster than that. So I think it's three breaths. One, two, three, and maybe it changes. And then, okay, come on, come on. Don't get tangled. You've got this, you guys. We're in second already. I think the number of breaths it takes before the dogs start panting with the glowing breath actually does change. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. Like maybe they get, if they're more fatigued, then it'll show up earlier. And if they're less fatigued, it'll show up later. I'll have to see. Come on, Striker, help us out here. We just need a little bit more. Yeah. Sorry, Domino, that's kind of embarrassing. All right, so we managed to get a little bit more money and that may be enough to squeak by. Man, this is so exciting now that I'm figuring stuff out. Yeah, we didn't really, oh yay, Max and, yay, Striker, middle specialty level two. Oh, sweet, and rapport has gone up between these guys and we have fatigue capacity five. Domino basically is getting better and better at having more endurance for these races, which is a really good thing. All right, so. Do we have, yeah, lots of skill. Oh, yay, fatigue capacity. She's catching up to the others or something. Interesting. Oh, I think she has even higher fatigue capacity now. I gotcha, I gotcha. All right, so what I think I need to do now is go ahead and let them rest for a day. And then hopefully we'll be ready for the next race because that's in four days. So, all right, we'll do one more race and we'll have a little bit more money. We still have just enough to squeak by with our dues. <laughs> So if I ever want to be able to expand, if I ever want to hire another dog, if I ever want to be able to get more puppies, then like any puppies actually, then we definitely need to let our dogs, there we go, run lots and lots of races. All right, let's go ahead and swap up to skill training so that they can build their skills. Poor Striker has been so exhausted. She's not really had a proper chance to build her skills. Okay, so it would be snowy weather, which would make Domino happy. And no obstacles, darn. So that means not a lot of fame. I will admit, I, I am kind of in it for the fame for some reason. It's so exciting. It's not for me, but to see my dogs become more famous, it's so fun. All right, and then we want to go ahead and enter the race. There we go. All right, and let's go ahead and do this, you guys. Favorite thing, favorite thing? 
I thought snowy weather was one of your favorite things. Huh. Well, we'll have to see what he thinks about that. All right. And let's go ahead and keep an eye on everybody. Have an obstacle coming up already. Gosh darn. Oh, fooey. All right. Oh, dear. All right. Go, 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 go. All right. Thank goodness. I managed to get it to Striker before she got a little bit of exhaustion. I've got to be a little bit more... I mean, I guess it's better to feed them early than to let them have that moment of, like, immense fatigue. All right. And let's feed both of you. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, my gosh, Max. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I am stumbling. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> Sometimes you just get fumble fingers and, like, start panicking. I didn't even see Domino was, was hungry yet. Oh, boy. All right. Come on. You got this, Siri. Gotta take care of your dogs. All right, there we go. It's really hard to tell the coloring sometimes to tell if the dogs are tired enough for treats, like the perfect throw treats. And you really do need to work on perfect throws or else they'll never build up their endurance to be able to handle fatiguing races. All right, there's Max. Striker, can you get this? There we go. And then Domino, here you go, buddy. I don't know if this is... Yeah, it was right in time. It's really exciting when you can get the perfect throw, like literally as they start getting the tired breath. All right, come on. There we go. Come on, Striker. All right, come on, Domino. Oh, man, I'm getting really confident because we're just managing to do race after race really well. All right. Phew. Oh, man, if I had just gotten two more on Max, we would have been able to have higher fatigue capacity. Yay, his rapport has gone up with Striker. So I guess that means that all of you guys who are arguing in comments on who Striker's mate should be will have to really think about these things. Yes, and her fame has finally gone up too. All right, we have to do something a little bit more impressive soon. Yes, and it did count as his favorite thing showing up. So that makes me really happy. In fact, we have two favorite things. Yay, so our dogs actually had a pretty awesome race. Oh, what's going on over here? Rally told me about how dog sledding came to Mount St. Something. Aurora and her team were making a name for themselves abroad, and the local fans got tired of hearing about it secondhand, so they started to organize races that they could attend more easily. More local teams formed to share in the excitement. Oh, that's so cool! Thank you very much! Alright, oh, what's this? Funding! The popularity of your team with dog sledding fans has attracted the attention of a sponsor. <gasps> So now we could have a new sponsor. Your sponsor covers 5% of your monthly expenses. That could potentially add up to a lot uh, at where we're currently at, but I'm pretty happy with what we've got right now. Oh boy. Are you sure you want? Yeah, 5% doesn't feel like a lot. Uh, you can afford to hire another dog. <gasps> we could? Oh, but we only have one race and then no, we, we shouldn't do it yet, you guys. Because although we have this much money, we only have one more race before our dues are due. And then another dog would add like another $300 in expenses. And another dog is $2,000 to hire. So uh, we would be in big trouble. <laughs> so we're not going to be doing that just yet. But we will let our dogs race up and then after we pay this due we will go and get a new dog i'm so excited we're gonna have a new dog we're gonna have a new dog what do you guys think about that huh what do you guys think about having another member of the family i think that would be exciting all right i'll see you guys next time Bye bye